Hello and welcome to Access DNR, the monthly video newsletter from the Maryland Department of Natural Resources. In this episode, we reintroduce freshwater mussels, study resident goose populations, celebrate another successful Conservation Jobs Corps graduation, and more. I'm communications intern Emily Durrell, your host for this edition of Access DNR. We begin this episode near Rock State Park in Harford County, where staff is working to relocate a small sampling of eastern elliptio, freshwater mussels found throughout most of Maryland. To begin the historic process, we take to the water in an effort to locate and collect the desired specimens. Individual mussels are then sized, cataloged, and equipped with an electronic transponder tag for easy identification. Later, those mussels are transplanted into carefully selected sections of the Patapsco River in Baltimore and Howard counties, an area where the species once thrived. Improvements in water quality, the removal of several dams, and the existence of other mussel species in the waterway are thought to be good indicators for the reintroduction's overall success. Only time will tell if these mussels take to their new home. Later in the month, other staff and volunteers work to ban resident Canada geese. In the early summer months, the birds molt to replace their flight feathers and are therefore unable to fly for several weeks. Biologists typically use this time to more efficiently capture the birds for closer examination and study. After undergoing various health checks, each bird is outfitted with a numbered band and then released back into the wild unharmed. The information collected helps us understand overall population health and better informs the department's management decisions. In other news, the Maryland Park Service has successfully graduated another class of the Conservation Jobs Corps. A ceremony held at North Point State Park in Baltimore County celebrated the accomplishments of 411 crew members, our largest class to date. Now in its 11th year, the program employs students ages 14 to 17 for a variety of conservation and environmental projects across the state. We have seen firsthand the breadth and depth of their contributions and extend our sincere gratitude for their service. Looking forward, registration is still open for upcoming Junior Hunter Field Days in August and September. These events offer young people ages 8 through 16 unique opportunities to learn from seasoned professionals and provides hands-on experience with all types of hunting and trapping equipment. Events are free, but registration is required. Well, that's a wrap for this month. For the latest news and programs, please follow us on social media, subscribe to our magazine and newsletters, and download our free mobile app. For those of you on YouTube, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to share our videos with family and friends. I'm Emily Durrell. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next month on Access DNR.